Hi, it's Bianca and I'm channeling my inner Hannah Montana moment and staying in a tiny cabin. So let's give you a tour. Jesus, shut the door behind you. Before we get into the video, I do want to let you know that this video is not sponsored by Getaway, but I do have a code to save you $25 on your next getaway if you are interested in staying in a luxury tiny cabin like this. The code is BiancaLOB, and I will have it also linked in the description. Anyway, we first start off, you walk right in to the kitchen. We have like a two burner stove which apparently I don't know how to use because yesterday I tried to cook macaroni and for some reason it's an electric stove so I figured high would be all the way to the right. No, that was simmer so it took about an hour and a half to boil some pasta. A little tea kettle, a sink, perfect for literally everything because this is your sink for both the kitchen and for the bathroom. We have some hot water but it does run out in like 15-ish minutes or so so like any cabin you kind of make it work. Pots and pans, which is actually, this converts totally into a dish rack for drying. So I think that's pretty neat and crafty. All the little hooks for like cleaning and things. And this is the only mirror in the tiny cabin. Cause you're in the woods, why do you need a mirror? Well I do to do my makeup, but Apparently, I always bring my own now because this lady at Bloomingdale's gave me a free LED mirror, which is quite perfect, and that's what I've been using. But everyone say hi to Jordan. Hi. Moving forward to the bathroom, there's pocket door, but there's also like hooks here for like your keys and stuff. Open that right into the bathroom. Oh, it goes all the way behind the shower. That my dirty towels are on the floor right now. Don't mind that. So you have actually a giant shower with shampoo, conditioner, body wash, like perfectly, perfectly equipped. We have two shower heads, so like a fancy shower head for like dogs and like doing fancy shower things. And then a normal shower head. And there's also uh, a little bench with my dirty towels because we are leaving today. It's quite perfect, I would say. Bathroom with natural light, you would see like literally in here, the, the cabin is just like straight wood everywhere and everything kind of was really well thought out. Little toilet, big bathroom. This bathroom's actually quite huge for the size of like a tiny cabin bathroom. At least for me, I would say so. Moving on to countertop, more space, and then this is like kind of dresser space before we get on to obviously the entire main biggest feature of this damn place, which is the giant bed in the tiny cabin with a big massive window looking out into the woods. I almost said into the jungle. We're in Connecticut, calm down, it's not a jungle. It's literally woods. I got like fuzz everywhere. Actually, is that a bug? No, it's fuzz. Listen, you're in a cabin. If there's gonna be a bug, it's fine. And then my favorite coolest part is these little reading lamps. That just pull out like that. So at nighttime, it's so vibey because obviously it's pitch black. At night, during the day, you have like, you literally don't have to turn on your damn light. But at night, obviously, it's quite dark. And then if you pan over this way from the bed, there is another window in front of the bed, which leads us out into our like picnic area and camping area. So I'll walk you out there right after I show you our kitchenette. So from where I'm sitting right now is the kitchenette and also like kind of the dresser space that I would say. I just kind of shoved my suitcase under there but there is a table with two chairs and then all the way behind my techie bag, there's actually a little box that says cell phone lock box because when you come here, you're kind of supposed to go like off the grid, but considering my line of work is literally my phone, I kind of don't have that option, but it would be nice. Obviously fire extinguisher. This is so fun because we're literally in a cabin, but this is like more techy than my own air conditioning at home. And you just kind of like bump it up, bump it down. The air's on right now, like pretty low actually, I would say. Put it on 70. And then this little lantern you could take with you outside. It's USB chargeable. And these are dimmers for the lights above us. See how bright it gets. And then when you shut it off, you just click it. But we don't really need light right now because this is what we have in front of us. Oh, by the way, in the kitchen, I forgot to mention, there is a mini fridge. And a radio with Bluetooth. 
So outside, which is really where it feels the most campy, is we have a picnic table and that little thing right here is a dog run. If you have a dog, it's dog friendly here, which is so lovely. I really wish I had my Rambo to bring. And then we have two Adirondack chairs in front of the fire pit slash barbecue. We actually didn't end up using it because we like went out and like got ice cream instead. So we bought s'mores and just like totally forgot to roast them, but that's okay. But there is a campfire kit. So there's like wood logs for you and fire starters, but there's also barbecue lighters inside if you're good at starting fires, which theoretically I'm pretty fine at. This is a little garbage pail. We didn't put anything in it because we don't want any animals to kind of like come. All our garbage is inside in our little tiny cabin. Our car's right here where we just totally parked and pulled up, put all our stuff in, and it's a card wash. So I hope you enjoyed my tiny cabin tour and how kind of cute and quaint and fun it was. There are a lot of other tiny cabins on this property, but they are all so spaced out that you don't really see or even hear anybody. There's nature trails and all like different fun stuff. So if you lose your ring, just make sure you listen for it. If you liked this tiny cabin tour, please give me a thumbs up. And also if you wanna see like actually like living wise in here, I did film a few vlogs that you can check out if you just subscribe. They will be linked down in the description and also in the description will be a link to tiny cabins exactly like this all around the country if you are interested in staying in any of them. I'm pretty sure if you click my link, you will get like $30 off your first stay. This could be like a fun little getaway for you. I'll see you in my next video.